If you want to catch some artists in action, all you have to do is go for a drive. But be ready to slow down. Mike Randall took a ride on Millersport Highway in East Amherst and found if you pull over, you may just catch someone hard at work. Think of it as a pop-up shop or an open-air artist studio where the artists are sometimes in residence. I love art. Claudio Avilis and his loyal companion Pepper I think she's ready to go home. can be seen here in East Amherst on Millersport Highway, hard at work, turning these huge logs into works of art. I have a great day and I have to do, a couple more tortoises I have to do, uh, the folks that just left ordered a beagle and that's going to Virginia. Claudio gets a lot of requests for critters, but... If you can think of it, he could probably build it out of wood, like this fancy chair or my new Channel 7 medallion. Claudio says he's only been a wood carver since January, if you can believe it, but he's had experience carving in another medium. My career started with chainsaws as a chef doing ice carvings. Claudio's carvings are in such high demand, customers snap them up before he's even finished with them. Here's the tiki table on this side. So maybe it's a good thing that Claudio has some wood carving competition right next door. Central Terminal, I did a locomotive out of a tree. I did a Statue of Liberty on the waterfront. That's Cousin Kelly. He's been at this wood carving thing for years. Originally, I did endangered animals. This impromptu wood carving roadside stop is... Uh, it's pretty heavy. ...the future location of the Song Valley Organic Farm. But listen up, art lovers. They're welcome out anytime. For now, it's where you'll find Claudio... And cousin, bring out the grain like this. A couple of creative carvers who are letting the wood chips fall where they may. For the now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.